Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss uh, some important concepts related to finance. In short, what we call as finance current affairs. And these concepts as well as questions based on this, which I'm going to discuss simultaneously, are going to hold a lot of importance for the upcoming RBI and SEBI examinations. Uh, before we start, let's have a look at all the courses that you can avail, that you can use in case you're planning to start your preparations or if you're planning to complete your preparations right now immediately before the examination. All of you must be aware about the crash course which covers entire phase one plus entire phase two and it also covers revision which is presently going on. So you've already done your uh, phase one and phase two prep and you're willing to revise with me, you can enroll in the crash course. The second that I've launched recently specifically for revision, which a lot of students were demanding and asking for is uh, are these two courses on which we have 50% discount going on right now. You can use this code special 50 for any of these courses. Now, what are the differences between these two courses? Uh, the 8001, which is going to cost you only rupees 4000 and GST is going to be inclusive. So I'm going to be paying the GST on this. Uh, includes phase one complete plus the ebook which itself costs around 800 now and uh, it also includes past year papers uh, so these three things are included in this it also includes uh, mock tests for phase one entire phase one uh, that means 10 mock tests for entire phase one it will have general awareness it will have static gk uh, okay it will have uh, quant reasoning and english all the videos all the content and the ebook as well and the second is uh, for 3900 after discount it's going to cost you 1950 inclusive of gst it's going to include phase one mock tests number one all 10 mocks plus phase one general awareness and static gk plus the ebook of uh, two th 2000 plus questions and past year papers so these are the four things that are going to be included in this uh, course which is specifically meant for students who've already prepared for phase one but feel that they need more revision or more com coverage for general awareness and static GK and who also wanted to take some mocks. So instead of just providing mocks, I also thought let's provide general awareness and static GK simultaneously so that you can improve your performance in mocks immediately after you take a test because all the solutions and the explanations, everything is already available in the static GK and general awareness. Okay. And the ebook, which has been launched recently, it's also included in this. Now that's a heavy ebook, which contains uh, more than 850 pages, uh, a lot of practice questions of the level of RBA grade B. Okay. With this, let us start with the session. And we're going to be talking about some important concepts and fundamentals related to finance current affairs. Hi guys, so in this video we are going to talk about FDI investment route as per latest amendments. I am expecting at least uh, 2 to 3 questions from this particular area in phase 1 and another at least uh, 2 to 4 questions in specifically in phase 2. Therefore, this particular area holds a lot of importance. I would request you to cover it sincerely with me when I am covering it. What we are going to do is I will be covering, first of all, I will cover the areas where you have 100% automatic approval uh, by the government for FDI investments. And then we will cover the remaining areas, whether it is 100% government, 74%, 26%, 49%, whatever might be there because majority of the areas now have 100% automatic approvals. So let us start. The first one is agriculture and animal husbandry with 100% approval, plantation 100% automatic approval, mining 100% automatic approval. Uh, coal and lignite mining has now changed to 100% automatic. So remember this can be asked in the examination. When we talk about petroleum and natural gas, then there are two divisions, 100% automatic and 49% automatic. So if petroleum refining is done by PSUs, then there is 49%. But if it is done by private companies, then there is 100% automatic approval for FDI investment. In manufacturing, now there is 100% automatic, automatic before it used to be lesser. So this is also an important area which has been highlighted by me also because uh, a question is expected because amendment has been made recently only. When we talk about defense, then again, 100% in which 49% automatic and above 49 uh, case by case basis, depending upon 
how much contribution will it make to uh, transfer a technology towards India okay so this is also a part of 100% automatic with 100% private 100% investment FDI with 49% automatic in broadcasting there are certain subdivisions uh, let us understand uh, or have a look at areas where you do not have 100% so that you remember it uplinking when you're talking about uplinking of news and current affairs tv channels because it's a sensitive area you don't want foreign uh, governments or foreign institutions to invest in india in creating news and uh, you know delivering news therefore there is only 20 percent fdi limited allowed by the government through a uh, not automatic route but approval route if there is uplinking of non news and current affairs then there is 100 percent approval okay so this is with respect to broadcasting then you have if there is fm services then 49 percent by government however anything else which does not have an impact on the viewers uh, on the opinions of people whether it's tth or mobile tv or cable networks there we have 100 percent automatic approval okay then you have print media print media is also to some extent uh, controlled by the government only not controlled by the government but regulated so that foreign governments and foreign institutions cannot uh, hijack these uh, mediums okay so for, for uh, 100 percent government you have here in publication of fancy smile edition of foreign newspapers so if there is any foreign newspaper then publication of those editions there is 100 percent government otherwise you have lesser and we'll cover them later then you have airports both greenfield and brownfield uh, 100 percent automatic ats air transport services 100 percent automatic up to 49 percent and then approval non scheduled air transport 100 percent automatic helicopter 100 percent automatic other services under civil aviation because you want to privatize civil aviation fast 100 percent automatic construction development real estate 100 percent automatic because it does not have an impact on uh, safety and security or not a part of uh, national security industrial parks 100 percent automatic satellites uh, operation and establishment 100 percent by government approval and not automatic uh, then you have telecom services 100 percent automatic up to 49 and government route beyond 49 percent do remember these telecom services very important trading 100 percent automatic single brand retail now being changed to 100 percent automatic multi-brand retail still at 50 51 percent with government approval beyond that okay so these are with respect to areas which have 100 percent automatic i hope you have written them them down if you have not i'm going to uh, go back again and please write them down so these are all 100 percent automatic automatic and then you have uh, 49 percent automatic which i've already explained terrestrial broadcasting for fm 49 percent government and news and current we already explained it uh, yes print media publishing of newspaper if you want to publish a newspaper periodicals with which has news and current affairs then up to 20 percent it's allowed above that government approval publishing of indian editions of foreign magazines again 26 percent and uh, the other ones are publishing of printing of scientific and technical magazines 100 percent government because they're not news publication of foreign newspapers 100 percent government and then we covered all these private security agencies 49 percent government because you don't want foreign private security agencies to come and start providing security to some sensitive locations or institutions okay so private security agencies 49 percent government multi-brand retail 51 percent government okay the further points are duty free shops 100 percent automatic again greenfield 100 percent automatic in pharmaceuticals and in brownfield 100 percent but automatic up to 74 and government route beyond 74 railway this is uh, an area where some confusion lies among students so railway is 100 percent automatic now asset reconstruction companies also 100 percent automatic can be asked in the examination banking private sector automatic up to 49 percent government route beyond 49 up to 74 percent public sector 20 percent by government approval and infrastructure companies in securities market 49 percent by automatic so these are important areas related to finance or banking uh, which can be asked in the examination there are very high chances so do remember them also so this was all about the recent changes in fdi foreign direct investment i have uh, 
uh, retaken you uh, back to the entire list uh, which has been created again by me and i hope this is going to be very useful if you like this lesson do not forget to subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the latest updates and latest videos uh, which are going to be very helpful as last minute preparation for the upcoming rbi examination okay all the very best take care